By the time that school has been in session, the buses have been arriving late in the morning, causing lots of students to be late to their classes. The two main reasons for the buses being late is the new start time for school and the lack of bus drivers. As, as with the late start, they had the legislation come in that now high schools have to start at 8.30 or later. We've actually for many years partnered with Roseville City School Districts for transportation. So we provide transportation for the elementary and middle schools. Um, basically what happened is we used to come early and then they would get dropped off after high school students were. That's now been flip-flopped. And the first issue is that change of routes, that change of uh, when we're dropping off and where we're dropping off. There's different traffic patterns, so we're trying to get through that. Much like the lunch lines have been a little bit longer, it's the same idea. We're trying to work through a new system. The second part of it is, quite honestly, there's uh, a lack of bus drivers. We need more drivers. I know that they are working on hiring about a half a dozen or so currently, so that should help as well. It's not only Roseville High School being affected by these late bus routes. Almost all the high schools in the district are being affected. How late the buses are depends on how many students are taking the bus. Right now it's happening at almost every high school in the district. Um, some are impacted a little bit less because they have fewer bus riders, but anywhere that has bus transportation right now is being impacted in the same way. With the hiring and training of new bus drivers, the bus will gradually start arriving on time. We've got the new drivers online and then there's going to be training and then they're going to be getting used to it. So we're hoping that we get this dialed in by mid-September, we're hoping, but I don't have an exact date because uh, we're just getting used to that system still.